hello student in this session we will discuss uh, we check the uh, basically uh, various parameters for drinkable water like pH hardness total dissolved solid as the TDS uh, and alternative of water sample which is basically uh, uh, used for a drinking purpose because we already discussed the water which is suitable for industry by various methods but of course now we check the parameters which are basically checked for drinkable water. So we will take one water sample uh, water sample, and of course for this water sample we are calculating and we are determining various uh, types of parameters. So first parameter is about total hardness. For total hardness uh, we determine the total hardness by complex chromatic method uh, where we are titrating that water sample with the EDTA and after calculation we calculate how much amount of hardness is present in water sample. For this we take a water sample, then we titrate with the EDTA, so in durate we are taking EDTA, uh, then we have pipette out 25 ml water sample into conical class and then we add 10 ml since it is complex chromatic titration, so we add 10 ml buffer. ml buffer then since uh, EBT indicator the solution is become a uh, white red color then we titrate this with the uh, EDTA still the color change from white red to blue so it uh, add drop by drop with constant study So this is a blue color is up here. So color changes from white red to blue. Since it is complex chromatic titration, then we perform the calculation here. We can measure the reading. Is the reading around 29.5? So 29.5 is the reading. By using this reading, we calculate the total hardness in water sample. Now second parameter is alkalinity. Alkalinity is basically checked by. Uh, uh, neutralization titrations where we take a uh, SCL standardized SCL into burate and we give it out 25 ml water sample just come to alkalinity calculate karna hai. then we are using two indicators for here one is phenolphthalein another is uh, uh, bromophenol blue because we we just want to find out first which ion is responsible for alkalinity and of course how much that particular ion is present into this particular water sample so first we titrate uh, uh, first we add a phenolphthalein indicator two drops of another indicators so solution become pink then we, we titrate this against the hydro, uh, hydrochloric acid up to the color change from white uh, uh, pink to colorless huh. so this is a colorless first setting then in the it's same, uh, first we read the note down the D, it is around 12.6. Then we add bromophenol blue into same solution. Solution become yellow. Then we have to titrate against with uh, uh, SCL up to color change from yellow to uh, violet blue. So after uh, 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 colorless solution obtained by adding SCL uh, into the solution, now we are adding bromophenol blue indicators. So after adding bromophenol blue indicators, so we get uh, this side of violet color. Then we have to titrate against with SCL up to color change from uh, blue to yellow. Now yellow color is up here. So we uh, uh, note down the reading, it is around 35 uh, ml. Now we measure the third parameter called as TDS. TDS stands for total dissolved solid. 
so total dissolved solid can be calculated by two ways either we can calculate the conductivity and then calculate the tds but of course here we are having tds meter this tds meter is a paint type tds meter which used to calculate the total dissolved solid it's very simple uh, we just want to on this tds meter and get into the the water for 3 to 4 second we get the tds how much uh, tds is present into water sample so here we are basically checking the tds by using tds meter so this is water sample then we are putting the tds meter into water sample and of course after 3 to 4 minutes we will measure the tds of water sample here tds is around 660 ppm so last parameter is basically ph meter this is calibrated ph meter here we determine the ph of water sample so here water sample basically uh, we take a base, uh, water sample then we uh, dip the glass electrode into water sample and of course this is display meter from which we can calculate the ph of water sample it is around we just set the temperature it is around 7. 7.2 Two zero 